Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a really cool one for you guys. We are featuring a product that was on Shark Tank. So I'm sure some of you have watched the show before, but basically companies go in and they pitch their product to the sharks on Shark Tank and they either get a deal or they don't. But regardless, they do get publicity. So Fuzzy was out there and they actually did score a deal. Uh, you guys can look up the clip if you wanna watch it on YouTube. It was really good. Uh, they actually scored two sharks, Robert and Lori, and this is the product. So this is called Fuzzy, and what it is is basically a little sleeve for your phone, or in this case, iPad or MacBook, which we will get to all of the products here in a minute. Um, so right here off the top, this one's medium sized and it is antimicrobial, sink proof, extends your battery life and drop proof. And this one here is the larger size. This is their XP3 series. Uh, I do wanna thank them for sending all of these out free for review, uh, but this is not sponsored in any way. So I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinions on all of these products. Let's get into it. So here's the first one we're gonna take a look at. Uh, this is the thermal capsule. So the whole point of this product is for cold and heat protection mainly. So you guys have seen on our channel, we preach about taking care of your iPhone's battery and we have so many videos. We have like at least four or five videos uh, going over tips and tricks to extend your battery life. And one of the main tips is don't leave your phone in the sun. So if you're going to the beach or to the pool, do not leave your phone just sitting there because heat can cause permanent damage to your battery cold as well. Cold's not good if you go out and you're shoveling snow and it's zero degrees Fahrenheit, that will at least temporarily harm your battery. Now, usually when you bring it back to room temperature, it will recover, uh, but this product is going to deflect all of that. So you guys can see right here, outer layers reflect more than 90% of the heat of the sun to help maintain the optimal temperature of your device and the inner layers insulate your phone against cold. So this is best of both worlds here. As soon as we saw the pitch, we knew we had to reach out to them and see if they would let us review these on our channel. And they did, and they were very gracious about it. So here we go. Here is the product itself right here. Has a very unique feel to it. Kind of hard to describe, and it's in this nice mint green color. So we'll set that here. Uh, this box is really cool. I don't think I've ever unboxed a case quite like this. And here is, I guess, the instruction manual which we shouldn't really need, but if you wanna read through it, you can. And nothing else under here, so we can set this off to the side and take a look at the product. So here it is, and you can see a little bit of branding right there, and we look at the back, it's all the same. It's got a pretty thin overall profile, as you guys can see here. And on the inside, we've got a little bit of Velcro to keep the phone in there. We've got a little loop and nothing else in there, but there is a very soft lining in here as to not hurt your phone. So let's go ahead and open this up and slide the iPhone 11 Pro in and see how it does. So now it is totally in there, seal it up, and this is going nowhere. So even if I shake it, that Velcro is keeping it in there uh, solid, so I don't have to worry about it slipping out. Now, as it says on their package here, this is sink proof. So in theory, if I was on a boat, just chilling, first off, I definitely don't want my phone out in the open while in a boat or anything, because uh, the sun is definitely going to do a number on the battery. Uh, but the other thing is, I also wouldn't want to drop this, and if it somehow did end up in the water, this is going to help it float so it doesn't just drop straight to the bottom like an average phone would. So I can think of a perfect use case for this. First of all, this one is antimicrobial. So you go to the pool, you're hanging out with your friends. Obviously it's germy there. Uh, you've got this, this will keep a lot of the germs off or at least as much as possible. You put your phone in here when you're in the pool, there's a good chance people won't know what this is. They'll just think it's a little pouch. They're not gonna know that there's a thousand dollar phone in there anyway. You could put this in a bag or under a towel or something, and this will protect your phone's battery. Then you come back, you want to check your phone real quick, you just open it up like this and boom, you've got access to your phone no problems there. So this is a product I definitely recommend everyone have, especially for those in the warmer climates uh, and even those in the colder. So let's go ahead and pop this one open next. This is their XP3 series, and this one is in black. This one opens up kind of like a book here. You guys can see it's a little bigger, and you guys can read a little bit about this here. So let's go ahead and crack this one open. Uh, here is what it looks like on the back here, and I am going to be using the little unboxing knife. Uh, but you guys can see it's got tabs to open it easier. It's got the hook and loop closure system, chromium thermal barrier shell, internal stash pocket, impactor core, and multi-point attachment system. Let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we've got inside. We can set this off to the side and take a look at this product. So here's the thermal capsule XP3, looking very good here. Uh, here is the rubber tab that it was talking about. Also very thin, I'm not sure if which one's thinner, if either. Uh, this one's got a little more weight to it just because of these uh, rubber things, but it's still very light. These attachments would be awesome, especially if you're hiking or something, to make sure that this doesn't fall off. On the inside here, let's take a look at what we've got. So again, we've got the Velcro, and inside, we've actually got a little pocketing system. So this allows you to separate like your phone and something else in here. Uh, let's see how deep that is. Okay, so it's right at the top, so it goes down to about here. So it's halfway, and you could probably put some keys or something in there. And then this one obviously goes all the way, so we'll grab the iPhone here, 
and we'll slip it into the main pocket, seal it up, give it the shake test. It's not going anywhere. I do believe this one's a little bigger than the other, so you guys can see the size comparison here. That might help you make your decision. Again, this is the 11 Pro, not the Pro Max and not the 11. The 11's a little bigger, but I think it would fit in either of these just fine. The Pro Max might be a little bit too big for this one. I'm not entirely sure. I think you would need to step up to this big boy. And actually, according to their package, uh, it does look like this one. Uh, it doesn't list the Pro Max, but this black one does. So now my phone is totally protected from the elements, the heat, the cold. It's got drop protection, it can float. So this will help you preserve your battery life when you're out and about. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one open. So these make it so much easier to open. Uh, not that it really matters too much, um, but it definitely does help because like on this one, you've just got these smaller ones. It's pretty trivial, but if you are into that and you want something a little easier, you can get this model with the pull tabs. So these are awesome. Let's go ahead and open up the big boys. So this one really doesn't even fit in frame, but this is the iPad capsule and it fits tablets up to 11 inches and includes dual position shoulder straps. So this is like your whole all-in-one case for when traveling with your iPad. Let's look at the back here. It's constructed from a layered matrix of NASA-inspired materials to protect against heat and insulate from cold, while IP66 water resistance rating means your device is protected in every condition. So here is what's included. You got the strap, you got the zipper with poles, you got the internal Apple Pencil holder. They thought of everything. Five layers of protection, laser cut connection panel, and IP66 water resistance. This is the real deal here. Now we can pull this out just like so nothing else in the box very hard to show you that because it's a big box we'll set that off to the side uh, and pop this open see what we've got so here is the shoulder strap that you do receive very nice feeling on this it is padded and it is branded as well and it's pretty long this is the end clip that you will get pretty sturdy so we will set this off to the side and here is the ipad case itself so it's pretty decently sized it can't fit in all of this frame because we are optimizing this for YouTube and for mobile devices, but I'm still going to show you guys around. So here is the back side. And you can see where you clip the shoulder strap if you'd like right there. Got a little bit of branding right here with a little little raised rubber stamp thing right there. And up top, we've got the zippers here, which you guys can see totally seal off when it's closed. It almost looks like they don't exist. So that is really cool. Here is that pattern it was talking about. And you guys can see some of the reflective material in there. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we've got inside. Looks like we got some silica packets for the trolls. Now inside, holy, you guys can see just how soft that is, wow. And it is relatively thick to protect your device, so I would feel totally safe putting my iPad in this. Now while I don't have an iPad with me in the studio right this second, you guys can take my word for it, this will fit any iPad or tablet up to 11 inches, uh, so it should be pretty good across the board for most iPads. You guys can see on these zippers, they've even put their logo there. So much attention to detail in this. This is a very good product. Let's go ahead and check out the MacBook one because I do have something we can test that one with. If you thought the last one could barely fit in frame, wait till you see this one. So this is the iPad slash MacBook capsule. Fits tablets and laptops up to 13 inches. So this would be for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch or the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Includes dual position shoulder strap as well. And this has the same protections as the other one. So this will protect your device while you're out and about. So I'm also just going to pop this open for this one. And let's take a look at this one and give it a try. So we'll slide it out of the package here, as well as the shoulder strap. Nothing else in the box. You're gonna have to take my word for it. Set that to the side, rip this open, and here we go. Now we have the shoulder strap for the 13 inch. Again, padded, branded, feeling very high quality. Clips on this are exactly the same as the others. They feel very sturdy. We will set that to the side here. And that is a common theme amongst all of these products. They all feel super high quality. Uh, this is the black color. My camera might show it as a little bit bluish, but that's just because of the white balance and the studio lights. But as you guys can see, it's got those notches here in the back, got the logo right here. And while I don't currently use uh, any 13 inch MacBook Pros anymore, we do have a couple just laying around in the studio. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out with that product. So uh, on Shark Tank, one of the best things that they did to show this product, they had their device heat up either with a Fuzzy or without. So they showed the temperature difference uh, from one that was being heated. And of course, the one that was in the Fuzzy did not get hot uh, or cold. That's the goal here. Uh, and that's what they're trying to achieve which is awesome. Inside here, we've got a little bit of foam as well as two silica packets for the trolls. Nothing else inside, but you guys can see how soft this looks. I can't really, obviously you can't feel this through the camera, but you guys can see how it changes kind of like suede. Super, super soft. So it's not gonna damage your products. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the MacBook Pro 13 inch and slide it right in and zip it up. And that is all there is to it. My MacBook is now totally protected inside of this. And honestly, it makes e carrying it around a little bit easier. I can drop it, not worry about it because it feels so fluffy and just protected all around. So go ahead and take it back out. I'll show you guys how easy that is, of course. 
There it is, let the white balance focus. This might be one of my favorite products of the year. They have solved an issue that no other company seems to have done yet, and that is protecting your guys' battery. That's the main thing here. A lot of consumers just don't know uh, how the heat and cold impacts their phone until they experience it. And once you get your phone too hot, uh, that battery can be permanently damaged and you have to go replace it. So getting one of these definitely makes sense, especially for a MacBook. If you're gonna be traveling or outside with one of those, definitely do not leave that in the heat. Now, while I don't have a heat gun myself, uh, I did watch the pitch on Shark Tank, like I said. They showed that these products do work and they insulate very well. They keep the heat out and the cold out and they keep your devices much more safe than they would just out in the elements. So definitely check these out, guys. There's all different models for all different types of phones, Samsungs, iPhones, iPads, Samsung tablets, MacBooks, laptops, anything. They've really covered all the bases with these and I think they've done a great job. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these products. That's all I got for this one, guys. Peace.